Hello everybody and welcome to Learn the Interface 2. Um, today we are going to uh, go over some of these wacky buttons that we've uh, looked at and don't know what they're for. So, let's start from all the way over here. This is a new journey. So, uh, we can click new journey. And this will bring up our uh, new learning journey wizard. Um, so that's good. And then we can click open journey file. So now we can select a journey in the journey files. Um, we, can cl oh, we can click save all. And this will save all of our stuff. So save our journey, save our first scene. And then we can go publish journey file this does the same thing as this so we go publish and then load and then that's good so and then there's export journey okay this is uh, more complex it's when you're when you're finished it when you're finished your project you would want to export it uh, we'll get into that a little bit later uh, run player so after publishing it, so publish the journey file, we can run it and play it. Okay, so that's what that does. And then here's the undo and redo buttons. So I can move, or I can, yeah, let's, so this is the move button. So it says move, so we can move any object. Okay. So there we go. Move the object um, and then undo or redo, undo or redo or undo. So and then we have rotate button. Uh, so we can rotate it in whatever direction we want. Uh, we can scale it. Uh, this doesn't actually do anything to the player object. Uh, your player doesn't get super giant. Um, snap to world. Uh, that's just for easier snapping and things like that. So we have create interaction. Uh, this is for creating interactions. Uh, this is one of the key elements to your simulations. Um, but we'll go over this later. Uh, then we have create character so this is sort of like our uh, create player uh, when we're creating our publish or when we're creating our uh, journey except we can add other characters so I'm just gonna grab this uh, guy and we're going to name it so we have name uh, that is the name that the code uses. Uh, so we're going to call this import oh, important guy one. Okay, and the display name will be um, Joe Blow. Okay. So then we have some options here. We have is collidable. So that just means is. Uh, that means, can you walk through him? If this is unchecked, then you can walk right through him. Uh, if this is, this is, is visible. So, you could have is visible, and you could have an, an invisible person. But you could still bump into him. So, we're going to leave that checked. Um, interaction distance. Uh, we'll get over that, we'll go over that another time and radar display we'll go over that a different time too so finish and here we have him so we can place him wherever we want just place him here and we can rotate him we can move him and we can scale him let's just make him super giant there we go okay 
so and we have objects so again this is sort of like a uh, I have I'm gonna have a lot more objects than you um, so I'm going to select an object here let's grab there's a cool um, luggage vehicle so we're going to call this luggage vehicle okay it's the exact same uh, as the character uh, name is the one used in code and display name is the one you can see uh, usually you can't see the display name so we're gonna call this uh, no we're just not gonna call it anything um, description this this is a luggage vehicle uh, we'll go over the inventory description later is collectible false so we don't just leave it like that uh, radar display Uh, we don't want anything for that and then we can place our luggage vehicle so there's our neato luggage vehicle so we can try that out so go publish run player and if we look we have our luggage vehicle and we have our giant man here okay so we have that uh, we have create marker um, this creates a marker that we can place uh, I just press the delete button uh, we don't we don't need to go over markers yet uh, this is create camera and it creates a camera where you're currently positioned we don't need cameras yet we won't work on them uh, create path uh, is not something we will work on either uh, create trigger volume not something we'll work on create billboard let's go over that um, oh we don't have any billboards okay so we can't go over that so we have the interaction editor uh, we don't have any interactions currently so we can't use this um, then we have what's called the scene flow this is where the magic happens this is like this is like code but uh, a much easier version of code so uh, we can drag things from here over here uh, we can drag whatever we want there's lots of really cool stuff and we'll go over a lot of these um, but basically uh, we can just so there's there's a few options we can delete it so we can delete it no we can clone it so now we have two of them we can create group from selected nodes and that's like a logic group you see a logic group so if we double click that then we have our own special thing so we can delete this logic group oh, uh, delete selected nodes yes now remember if you're deleting a logic group you're going to delete everything inside the logic group okay so we have and then copy selected nodes and then we can go over here somewhere and we go paste oh no that doesn't work anyways so we can do that um, so that's good let's just get rid of these and uh, don't leave these kind of things lying around otherwise your game won't won't run uh, like if I I think no never mind so then that's not a problem um, Oh, there it is. Yeah. Um, if you attach it, um, let's get. Uh, 
see so we can drag a thing from here and attach it to whatever we want so we can attach it to here and there we go so this is the on start so this means whenever it starts it will do this okay this is just something example uh, we'll get into uh, using this uh, to display some stuff later but right now we're just going to leave it be so um, that's cool so we have entity list uh, we have all the stuff in our scene so we have our characters we have one character named an important guy one and his uh, in-game name is Joe Blow we have objects and we have our luggage vehicle and because we didn't give it an in-game name it's just nothing we have no billboards we have no trigger volumes the trigger volumes are these uh, we have no trigger volumes we have no markers uh, these are markers no cameras these are cameras here no paths these are paths and there's miscellaneous uh, the player start point and we can double click it and it will select it and it will zoom in of it zoom into it for us so say we want to zoom into our luggage vehicle we can do that um, so go to settings okay um, this is where you can change some of the stuff say you know you don't really like this checkerboard pattern because it's getting kind of old so we can change it now so let's go to this place okay this will perform a save on the current scene now the thing is is that all your objects and models and everything are still going to be there um, I would recommend instead uh, just just creating a new journey but if you really want to change your scene then you can do that okay like I've just done uh, anyways there's a whole bunch of really cool stuff so we go back here there's player now say you know businessman this this seems not very good for business it's kind of space so we're gonna grab an alien okay um, now theme uh, I don't think we're going to go over this uh, in this course but it, it's it, the theme themes more advanced stuff uh, we have variable editor current score game timer and player lives those are variables uh, we might go over var variables we might not um, I don't know at this point in time 2d objects um, these are just kind of weird uh, I, I currently see no use for them uh, you can make random squares wherever you want. Uh, let's just make this three. And alignment, so it's in the center. We go finish. Okay. And if we publish this, or publish, any, either button works. You should see. Oh yeah, see, we have a square up in our left-hand corner, which is kind of annoying and doesn't really work very well. So we're gonna, just going to remove that. And we have camera mode, which is kind of this cool little mode. Uh, um, it kind of lets you move around. Uh see what there is to see so that's kind of cool without having the complex buttons now we're going to get to down here okay the selected object details so if we go to here we can see the names important guy one we have luggage vehicle we have player start point we're going to deal with the luggage vehicle so say uh, this is space so we're gonna want this luggage vehicle to fly but the problem is we can't really move it up 
So what we do is we have position. So we can move it this way. We can move it this way. Or we can move it up. So there we go. Now we have a flying luggage vehicle. This. Now we also have rotation. So you can rotate it uh, upside down around which is the usual rotation usually you can rotate it this way see if I tried to rotate it see I can rotate it like that uh, or if I wanted to rotate it like this have it flying on an angle like that then I can do that too uh, scale if you wanted it really big or maybe a, a flying toy car but we're just gonna set that to one. You can also import text or input text to here. So you go 123. That's gonna be super duper giant. If you can, see, yeah, I don't know, I don't even know if we can see that. Yeah. So you have this giant truck, and that's really not. Oh, it's yeah. You can't even do 123. So let's just. I just pressed the enter button there. Enter. Ah, see, so we can go entity list, luggage vehicle, double click it, and it'll zoom us right in. Okay, um, this is the pointer, and that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.